Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about wildcards and the like keyword in SQL. Now, wildcards are basically a way of defining uh, different patterns that we want to match specific pieces of data to. So this would be a way to uh, kind of like grab data that matches a specific pattern. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how this works. So I have over here a prompt and it just says, find any clients who are an LLC. And so this is kind of an interesting prompt. Like, let's say that we wanted to query our database and find any clients who, you know, were like an, an LLC. And you'll see over here in the clients table, we actually have one, John Daly Law LLC, right? So this is a limited liability company. And this is kind of what we're looking to find with our search. So I'm gonna show you guys how we can use wild cards in order to find something like this. So I could say, select all, from client because I want to grab a client and now I can use the where keyword so I want to filter the results right where I'm going to say client name and I'm going to use this keyword called like and like is a special SQL keyword which we're going to use with wild cards now we can say like and then over here we want to write out a little uh, expression or a little statement so I'm going to make an open and closed quotation mark and we'll put a semicolon over here. And now inside of here, I can use a couple of different special characters. So basically what I can do here is define a pattern, okay? And if the client's name, if the specific client's name matches the pattern that I define over here, then this condition or this statement here will be true and will end up returning that client. And so we can basically use wildcards to do a bunch of different stuff. So inside of these quotation marks, we can use two special characters. There is this percent sign, and this stands for any number of characters. And then there's this underscore, which stands for one character. And I can use these in order to define certain patterns that can be used by the database in order to find uh, what we need. So over here, I could say like, and I can say percent sign LLC. Basically what this pattern is saying is if the client's name is like this pattern, then we want to return it. So in other words, if it's any number of characters and then an LLC at the end, then we want to return it. So this percent sign is going to stand for any number of characters. So that means any characters, anything can come before that but that would mean that the name has to end in LLC. So you'll see over here, John Daly Law LLC has a bunch of characters here, and then the last three characters are LLC. And that's kind of standard. Most limited liability companies will be set up like that. It'll be like company name LLC or John Daly Law LLC. So this wild card, if there's any company names like that that end with LLC is going to catch them because it's using this uh, percent sign, which basically means any number of characters can come before this and then LLC. If you're familiar with regular expressions, this is very similar to regular expressions. It's just a more simplified version. So I'm just going to click run and you'll see down here, we returned John Daly LLC, just like that. So that's how we could use uh, these wild cards and this like keyword in order to find something like that. So why don't we uh, try another one? So I have another little prompt here that we can see uh, if we can figure it out. So it says, find any branch suppliers who are in the label business. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. Uh, find any branch suppliers that are in the label business. Well, uh, over here, we're gonna change this. So instead of looking in client, we're gonna look in branch supplier. And then down here, we're gonna do the same thing, except here, we're just gonna say, supplier name. So over here in the branch supplier table, we have a bunch of different branch suppliers, right? These would be like companies that supply products to our company. And you'll see there's actually uh, a couple of these that have the word label in them. And so if the word label is in the company's name, then we know they probably sell labels. And so what I could do is I could say, um, use a wild card to see if the word label shows up anywhere inside of their names. So what I could do is I'm actually gonna come over here and I'm gonna change this up. So basically we're gonna have any number of characters. We're gonna use this uh, percent sign and then I'll just say label and then we'll make another one with uh, another percent sign. So actually, why don't we check to see if the word label is actually in there. So it's gonna be percent and then uh, label just like that. So this is gonna be our wild card. So this will basically match if 
the supplier name has the word label in it somewhere. So now I'm going to run this and you'll see down here, we get this company JT forms and labels. And so actually I thought there was two of them. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like I have a typo here. Uh, so, uh, looks like when I was inserting the data, I spelled labels wrong on this column. So that's going to be why that one's not showing up. But if we had, if I had spelled this correctly, then Stanford labels would also have shown up. So, uh, that kind of shows you guys how we could do something like that. So why don't we find another one? Um, all right. So this one says find any employee born in October. So this one's kind of interesting. Uh, you'll see over here on the employee table, we're actually storing the dates for all the, uh, the birth dates for all the employees. And they're all structured the same exact way. We have a four digit year, a hyphen, and then the two digit month. Now, October is the 10th month. So let's see if we have any employees. So we have one employee down here, Jim Halper was born in October. So what we can do is let's see if we can design a wild card that will figure that one out. So over here, we could change this to employee. So from employee, and we want to check to see if the birth date is like the wild card. So what we can do is we can actually use this uh, character right here. It's this underscore. So the underscore represents any single character. So the percent sign represented just like any number of random characters, uh, right? It could any, any number of characters would match it. And the underscore represents one character and we can use that to our advantage. So we know the way that these dates are formatted, right? It's a four digit date a hyphen or it's a four digit year, a hyphen, and then the two digit month. So we can do one, two, three, four underscores, a hyphen, and then a 10. And then we can do this percent sign. So what this is going to match, it's going to match with any four characters, a hyphen, and then 10. So this should give us all of the birthdays that are in October. So I'm going to run this. And you'll see over here, we get Jim Halpert. So it says Jim Halpert and he is indeed born in October. So you can do this for any month. We could see uh, if there's any employees born in February and you'll see down here, it looks like we have two employees born in February, um, also born in different years. So that kind of gives you an idea of how we could do something like that. Again, we're using these wild cards. All right, so let's try one more. It says find any clients who are schools. So this one's kind of interesting. Uh, basically we're looking for any clients that, uh, might be schools. So what we could do is we could say, uh, select all from client where client name. So why don't we search the client name is like, and then over here we'll define a wild card. Basically let's just look for anything that has school in it. So, uh, we could say percent sign school and then percent sign. So this is obviously like a little bit general and broad, but hopefully it should at least give us all of the schools. So I'm going to go ahead and run this and you'll see down here, it looks like we have one client that's a school and it's Dunmore high school and the branch ID is two. So that is really the basics of using these wild cards. So again, we have the percent sign, which is going to represent any number of characters. And we have the underscore and the whole idea is we want to build these little expressions here, which will be able to match. So like the client name should be able to match this expression. And if it does, then we're going to go ahead and return it. And those can actually be really useful when you're just trying to, you know, kind of query something from a database. So imagine that you were building like a searching application and the user entered in a bunch of search terms. You could use something like this in order to search the database for you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.